Hey guys, so uh, I was thinking about this Let's Play and everything like that, and I was thinking about waiting until Mortal Kombat X came out, because uh, I pre-ordered it, and I would just do like a first impressions kind of thing. I thought that'd be kind of fun. But, eh, I mean, we all know what Mortal Kombat is, so it's pretty much just waiting to see whether or not it's a good Mortal Kombat. So, instead of doing something that we all pretty much know, I decided to do a little obscure title. Uh, you might have heard of it, or might have heard the premise of it. it has grown a little bit in like cult popularity as of late but instead of Mortal Kombat X you're getting a little Sega Genesis title known simply as Revolution X now what is the premise of Revolution X exactly well it's an on rails shooter where you have to save Aerosmith from Nazis I really wish I was making that up but you're you're about to see exactly what I mean it's actually ridiculous. It's Revolution X featuring Aerosmith. Now from the title screen it kinda looks like Aerosmith featuring Revolution X, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna knock him. Look, look at Steve Tyler, he looks so happy to be here. Anyway, I'm gonna start this. Now, to start off, I'm not a fan of on rail shooters on consoles to begin with. Uh, mostly because uh, because the uh, D-pad especially is horrible for moving around, especially the Genesis D-pad. Not the biggest fan of the control scheme of the Genesis, so this definitely does not help. Yeah, and the tagline of this game is, music is the weapon. And this game means it literally. You're actually shooting CDs at people to kill them. And one of the big things that I don't like about this game is that you have n you really have no feedback of when you're getting hit. There's no flashes on screen. The only thing that you see is the hit up at the top in your life bar, which you're never looking at because you're looking at the screen. But, oh yay, it's the cat that you can shoot. And you shoot it enough, it runs back and forth, and then, ah, oh, I missed it. But it actually gives you power-ups if you shoot the cat. Oh, got it. You see what I mean? I just never know when I'm actually getting hit. But anyway, if Unlimited continues, so you can do whatever you really want in this game. The, the one thing that I don't understand, as an on-rail shooter, it, the whole goal isn't to get rid of everyone on screen all the time. It's pretty much, like, in this scenario, yes, you have to kill everyone on screen. But in most screens, you have to... God damn it. You have to just simply wait out the screen until you move away. And then it just moves on by itself. So literally, because you have all sorts of uh, ways of continuing, literally unlimited continues, you could simply sit around and wait for the screen to pass until you have to kill people and beat the game like that, which is boring as all hell. But it's possible, so, eh, whatever. I mean, I'm not gonna do that because I actually have to play the game, but yeah, it's time to shoot discs at this thing. I honestly don't know if you can kill this. I have never once been able to. Oh god, hey. See, I have no idea when I'm actually getting hit. Sometimes I'll see a little flash of like the little hit marker. But, oh actually, yeah, this is actually one kind of cool thing. You have uh, multiple paths you can choose, so I can either go right, left, or go in the house. Well, it's a club, so... I mean, I don't want to go in the club. Club X. I get it, because Re Revolution X. Oh, this guy again. Yay. Get to kill him. And more people behind windows. God damn it. At, le at least Steve Tyler is there in his pixelated voice to tell me not to give up. And I was shooting that guy forever, and why didn't he die? Um, yeah. They're just ducking. Oh, okay, whatever. Anyway, uh, I'll go right. Yeah, pretty much these these types of arcade ports were very common back in the uh, SNES uh, Genesis days, and but this is one that really shouldn't have been ported, I don't think, because honestly, with the Genesis control scheme, I don't think any on rail shooter should have been ported back to consoles those days. But hey, whatever, people bought them, and hell, I got this. And if anything, just for the novelty of saying I have a game where I have to save Aerosmith from Nazis. But, eh, whatever. Yeah, all these 
nice family friendly things going through a strip club shooting people. At least the girls look happy while everything's getting killed. But, yeah, a lot of fun stuff. Isn't this riveting? Let's shoot CD at you. Do. I do like how they're not really even animated too much, the uh, bad guys. They're literally just stills that have a couple frames to them. But, ah, god damn. But the next death I'm probably gonna call it quits. Because this game, as much as I want to say I have the <laughs> tenacity to beat, I do not. Oh, yeah, another weird thing, because this is uh, an arcade port and because it uh, encourages multiplayer, uh, if you're playing one player, you don't shoot from the center of the screen, you shoot from the left. Which is a very weird angle to shoot from, in my opinion. One more try. But, um, yeah, so you can see that all my bullets are coming from the left side of the screen instead of being in the center where it would feel more comfortable as a single player experience, I guess. And, oh, yeah, now this place, this level has now recycled the same room for three different sections of bad guys. So, yeah. Not much else to say, that, to say about this game other than it's a pretty crappy Unreal shooter. Well, other than saving Aerosmith from Nazis, but that's beside the point. Okay, I think I might be at the concert now. Yeah, I'm at the concert where they got... Is this where they got abducted or where I see the video of them? I might. Come on. Damn it. God. I really hate that I can't tell when I'm getting hit unless I'm looking up all the time, which I'm not because I'm trying to look for bad guys, damn it. Oh yeah, I get to go back again. Oh yeah, there's Aerosmith. Ah, oh, look at him. He looks so young. And Steve Tyler's actually... Oh, oh, oh well. Stop. Yeah. Stop this nonsense now. Oh no. It's it's Helga. Yes, her name is actually Helga. Okay, well that happened. That's the plot, everybody. That That's that's why this game happened. And they're on a straight line and kill them and yada 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 yada. Alright, so I think you get the point of this. Uh, pretty much, yeah, save Aerosmith from Nazis. Pretty much it. How could you go wrong? And you don't die when you game over. Apparently, you get censored because the man, bruh. Oh man, I got a high score. Uh. Uh. There's not enough spaces for extreme. Okay. Well, anyway, that's it. Thanks for uh, putting up with this, and I hope you found a new classic to enjoy. Thank you.